All right, the last of the Bitwise operations we're going to discuss is the Bitwise exclusive or. In our code, it is represented with the caret. All right, so how does the Bitwise exclusive or work? Well, let's take a look at the truth table. We've got A and B, and then X is equal to A exclusive or with B. So we have 00011011. The way it worked, the original definition that we used for the exclusive OR was that if there's an odd number of ones at the input, then we output a one. If there's an even number of ones at the input, we output a zero. Well, we've got zero ones, that's a zero. One one, that's a one. One one, that's a one. Two ones, that's a zero. All right. Now, what does a bitwise operation look like with the exclusive OR? So we're going to use the same value. So we had the value of 10101010. And then we had the mask that we were using of 11110000. All right. Now, real quick, another way of looking at the two input exclusive OR is to say that if the bits are the same, the output's a zero. If the bits are different, the output's a one. Let's go ahead and use that definition in order to do our bitwise operation here real quick. So in this column, zero and zero, that's the same. Zero, one zero, that's different. Same, zero zero, one zero, that's different. Zero one, that's different. 1, 1, that's same. 0, 1, that's different. 1, 1, that's the same. All right, so what has happened here? Clearly the bits have been screwed around a little bit, right? Messed up a little bit. What happened where the mask was a 1? Well, where the mask was a 1, any bit that was a 1 changed to a 0. Any bit that was a 0 changed to a 1. So where the mask is 1, the bits were inverted. What about where the mask was a zero? Did anything happen where the mask was a zero? Well, where the mask was a zero, whatever we had with our original value was passed down. So the bits left unchanged. All right, so we have our definition of the bitwise exclusive or. The way the bitwise exclusive or works, What it does is it inverts bits where the mask is a one and leaves bits alone where the mask is a zero. All right, now, this may seem a little funny, but I just had an I just had an opportunity to use this Bitwise exclusive OR in developing some brand new hardware for for a Raspberry Pi that I'm working with. Now, the 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 very you know when you're programming, typically your very first program is to do um, a, a hello world, right? So the very first program you output to the console or, you know, output to an alert box or something, hello world, just to show that it's alive. Um, whenever it comes to hardware, usually your hello world is a blinking LED. You want to blink the LED to show that there is life in there. And so there was a piece of hardware that I had where I had a byte and the hardware, the way the hardware was set up, an LED was connected to just this bit. If there was, so there's a memory location that I can write to, a very special memory location. It's called a memory mapped I.O. location. There were, that location, that bit right there had an LED connected to it. And so all I did was I set up a timer, uh, and, and I was just using JavaScript at the time. Uh, I set up a timer, so I used set interval. And uh, I had the function, all the function did was it was going to flip that bit. So the every, fi every 500 milliseconds, I called this function and I wrote the same value with that bit inverted. 
Now, this bit right there, whether if it was a zero, I didn't want to have to read it and say, if it's equal to a zero, send a one. If it's equal to a one, send a zero. All I wanted to do was just simply say, send it this, send it this. And whenever I did this, I had my LED value. And all I did was I made it equal to the old LED value, exclusive ORD with a one. And then, so every time I come in 500 milliseconds, I don't have to have an if statement, I don't have to have anything. All I simply do is I take the value that is there already, exclusive ORD it with a one, set it to a new value, and it would blink. So every 500 milliseconds, it would invert. The rest of the bits, left alone, untouched. And that way, you didn't have to worry about if there was a specific setting, you know, because these might have been connected to other pieces of hardware that were a little more critical, and you don't want to modify those. You just wanted to flip back and forth just the bit that you were interested in. All right, now let's see what happens when we do a bitwise exclusive OR. Let's take a look over here at our code again. Now, what if I wanted to do something kind of funny and change the color of our red so that it was inverted completely, but leave blue and green entirely alone? So, currently, our color at this point, we've decided our color is, well, let's see, at this point, our color. is, what do we say, hexadecimal 12DC56, right? And in binary, this is zero, 1, right, 2, and then D, and then C, and then 5, and then 6, all right? And in fact, we can divide this up into nibbles, all right? Now, if we invert red, what's going to happen is red is going to become 1110, 1101. What is that equal to in hexadecimal? Well, that's equal to an ED, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to invert, that's a hexadecimal ED. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to invert just red and see what happens. Well, can we invert just the red without bothering any of the other things? Absolutely, using the bitwise exclusive OR. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my color and I am going to do a bitwise exclusive OR. Remember that the bitwise exclusive OR is the, vertic is the, is the carrot. And I'm gonna do it with a mask where there are ones for the bits that we wanna change. So FF and zeros in the bits we wanna leave alone. And now, if we do a print F, our newer color is, and then do percent zero six x slash n, and we're going to output color and see what the new value is. And you can see that the red got changed from 1, 2 to ED, and that shows that we just inverted the bits that we were interested in. And that'll take care of us for the bitwise exclusive OR.